Well, hey there, everybody. We are here in Shirts, Texas today. Now, it is a pretty chilly day here for Texas, but we're at a brand new aquatic center. In fact, the grand opening is coming up in just a few days. Now, we are fortunate enough to get early access to this pool, and we're going to be sharing with you a story about Brittany Butler. And Brittany Butler is a renowned photographer in this area, and she does an extremely unique type of photography that I think you're going to be interested in. Let's take a walk inside, and you know, let's go see what she's doing. Hey Brittany, come on over. So everybody, this is Brittany Butler. Like I said, she's a renowned photographer in this area here in, in Shirts, Texas. And Brittany does something that's very, very unique. Now she's not just a photographer extraordinaire, but she is an underwater swimming pool photographer. And what I mean by that is she does underwater portraits. So right now she's preparing for a senior portrait session that's actually gonna be featured on Shirts Magazine. It's their community magazine, but she's got the cover spot for that. So it's pretty exciting, she's excited. We've got a, a whole slew of seniors that she's going to be shooting in the pool here in a few minutes. And she's going to be putting on her wetsuit, ready to go. But Brittany, how did you get started in doing underwater photography? Um, actually, it was a combination of all different things. But the biggest thing was is I actually attended an Imaging USA class, a workshop. And it was all about seniors and marketing. And I tried to figure out how I can do that in my own community. How, how can I make it unique and personal? And really, um, what I came up with was uh, a pool setting. Um, our community at the time was looking to build a new pool and I said, well, how can I incorporate that into my senior work and um, the community in the area and myself, we came up with a project and we kind of just started with underwater photography and that's it and I've been doing it ever since. It's been about three years now and I love it. Oh, that's awesome. And in fact, the name of, of her photography business is Vintage Creek. So being Vintage Creek fits well with the underwater photography. But what do you, what do you find are the biggest challenges? and shooting underwater? Um, the biggest challenge actually is working with the models underwater. Um, for me, I'm used to it now. It, it's a big struggle when you're not used to opening your eyes and smiling um, and getting someone to look really natural. It's very uncomfortable um, and it shows up really easy on camera actually. So I usually spend a good 45 minutes to an hour um, just practicing with a model. We do a lot of meetings before we even get in the pool on what to expect, how how I can prepare them for what they're about to experience, and then a lot of communication while we're in the pool. Um, we only shoot about 15 seconds at a time, and each time we come up for air, I give them a little bit more tips on, on how to relax, um, how to feel more comfortable, do they need anything, is, is the chlorine hurting their eyes too much, and we kind of just work from there. So now you use a lot of different types of props under the water. What, what kind of props do you use? Um, we've done everything from musical instruments, to um, today we'll be using balloons. Um, everything I find, I get at thrift stores, um, garage sales, discount stores, um, just because I'm expecting it to be ruined when I put it in right. the pool. So most of the, the items that you'll see in um, my images actually are broken or already discarded items, um, but they work perfect for this setting. So it's, it's a great opportunity to pick up really cheap items at a discount, um, just because I know that they're broken, I'm not going to use them, but they look awesome in the pool. Now, do, do the people that you're taking pictures of, do they have to be incredible swimmers, or can anybody... Any, anybody can do it as long as you're comfortable opening your eyes, and, and that's the biggest part. Um, and so I always have my models practice in, at home in the bathtub, out in their home pool swimming. So they're dunking their head in the water. They're ducking their head in the water, opening their eyes, smiling. And and one of the the most uncomfortable things is, is you're... You'll, your tendency is to actually inhale as you go underwater, but I actually... That would be mine if you just swallow you, Yes, water. you, you want to catch as much air before you submerge. And actually, for underwater photography, um, it's a big no-no. I need you to actually exhale before you submerge. Your air is going to trap a lot of lungs. It's actually going to make you buoyant. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing I tell people to practice is, is when you're playing, when you're sticking your face in water, I need you to exhale as much air as you can and then submerge. So usually when we're photographing, though, we're in the deep end of the pool, and we're only about 15 seconds, 20 seconds at a time. So it's really manageable. We have lifeguards on deck at all times. I have pool noodles floating around. So we try to make it as safe as possible, but lots of practice, practice before we get in. Right, right. Hey, do me a favor. Go run and just grab your camera real quick. Okay. Are you doing that? I want yeah. to see the housing. All right. So okay. th check out this contraption here. This so, is my baby. Like, do you, are you nervous when you put this in the water? I mean, you're, this is your baby. Your camera is actually inside this, yes. this housing. But it's completely waterproof. It's completely waterproof. Um, and this is my normal everyday camera. This isn't just a camera that I'm using for this. It's actually the camera that I would use for any land 
um, a shoot that I do. Feel so, how heavy that is. Man, so how? Do, I mean, is it? It's kind of weightless in the water, right? So um, it, it's a little heavy, but it, it is much more manageable in the water. It weighs like ten pounds. Now. It's very heavy. Yeah. So all of these buttons and contraptions on here, you can control basically I can anything on the I camera, right? I can control right? any function on the camera, and that's why I specifically picked this um, this camera housing. This is an Isolite housing for a Canon 7D, and then we have a um, 10 to 22 lens on on it as well. But it's all custom set up. So the housing, the camera, the lens case, everything is wow. custom tailored to this. And you can go on the Icolite website and you can find it any of these setups for whatever camera that you so have. So you can, you can focus through this? I mean, you can actually look through I can focus, I can adjust my focus, I can change uh, my ISO, my shutter speed, any any of those functions are available to me. That's and, awesome. and that's why I chose this one as opposed to any other underwater housing system. They have bags and, and a variation of all in between, but this one gives you the most range to actually access your camera in the water, yeah. where a lot of other um, systems, you have to take it out, dry it off, adjust the setting, put it back in. So probably shooting underwater is quite a bit different than shooting on land. I mean, you've got your settings are different. It's probably darker when you're looking inside the pool. Yes. It's the water so, cuts that light a lot. So you lose you lose about a third of the light just wow. by like going three feet under. And then you lose about most of your reds when you're about five feet under. Mm. So you'll lose all the reds. So editing is, is a big deal, color correction. Um, but the biggest thing is just understanding your camera before you get in. You have right, to be a really okay. confident photographer before you even attempt to take this underwater. So probably a lot of trial and error. Right? So much trial and error. And then even in your post-processing, that's a whole different way of post-processing, right? I mean, it's, it it's like... It is so different. You, you can do your stuff where you've got that color, but you're talking about taking out the reds. Like, you have to try to learn I how have, to replace that. I have to replace a lot of that. And, and a lot of times, you're you're really just playing trial and error. There, there's not a lot of information available for this type, specifically photographing people underwater. So a lot of it is just figuring it out, backspacing, let's try yeah. again. So. so before I let you get back to your, your people here, tell me, if, if you had a suggestion, if someone says, man, I would love to get into underwater photography or swimming pool photography, mm -hmm. what would be your biggest suggestion? I mean, what would help somebody that says, I just want to get started in that? My absolute biggest suggestion that I tell everyone is rent a camera housing first and try it. You will be amazed at how um, it, it looks amazing. There are these beautiful images and they're so striking, but the amount of effort you are physically exhausted by swimming. We are treading waters for hours at a time. Yeah. In, and I tell people, rent a housing, test it out, Great tip. and you will know. You will know instantly at the end of the day whether it, all that, and honestly, I will shoot thousands of images and I'll get three or four. And, and that's realistic yeah. for when you're doing underwater. Well, very cool. Thanks so much for taking some time Thank with us, you, Brittany. Steve. We're really excited. We're going to actually spend a little bit of time here. We're going to see her getting ready some more and prepping the models and maybe even jumping in the pool. So appreciate you being here. Thank you. You can get back to your people, and we'll, uh, we'll make it a great day. Thanks so much for sharing this time with us. We look forward to uh, sharing some more stories. So we want to invite you to go ahead and subscribe and like our channel, where you will get notified every Tuesday of brand new episodes. Well, welcome to the Panoptic Chopsticks channel. Come join the fun.